you guys, yo, we hit 10,000 subscribers. I don't know what to say really. I really don't know what to say. Um, but yeah, I want to say a special, special thank you to everyone who supported the channel. Everyone who subscribed. Um, who made that 10,000 k possible. Even if you didn't subscribe and you had a role by sharing the content. Or just like word of mouth and stuff like that. Seeing that the channel is growing. Um, yeah, thank you to everyone. And um, yeah. So I just thought I would like throw in a few um, old clips like from where I started with the, with the features. Obviously it's not just the features that brought us to 10k but that's like one of the, the turning points for the channel. That was one of the turning points because like most of the time now that the views come through and like the subscribers is through the features. So yeah, I want to thank everyone, everyone from the bottom of my heart. Yeah. Um, so yeah, and another thing. Seeing that we 10,000 subscribers, I only think is right that we're gonna have a competition once again. Uh, yeah, so um, the competition details will be shared in another video which will be in this week. So look forward to that as well. So I'll just do like a trip down memory lane maybe. Um, with the cars that I did so far, like a compilation. Like I'll list all the cars with a few videos in between of the cars and then you guys can just comment what car you enjoyed most on the channel so far, the features and so on. So yeah, stay tuned for that competition. It will be discussed in the next video, which will be in this week. Yeah, guys, we're doing something different um, this week. It's kind of like an unplanned feature. Like we just both like chatted and stuff, and like we decided we're gonna do something just short, no? Short and sweet. Yeah. So this is Jason. So welcome, Jason, to the channel. Thank you. Thank I you for having it. me. Thank you all for having me. So Jason, take us through the, the story of this car and like um, why you chose to buy this VTEC and like how long do you have it and stuff like that. Well, with the Honda, um, the, well, let's start with my first car. My first car I got in 2011 was a 1983 1275 Mini Clubman. Yeah, it's and a liquor start, no? <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's a decent start, yeah. but for a car like that, you need money because Nine times out of ten, you need to import something from the UK. So you're paying the pound, um, literally and figuratively. So um, I've had that car for since, like I said, since 2011. And while in ownership, the car served me the daily going to work. So I used to work yeah. in town. So I used to do the trek from um, the southern suburbs to town on a daily to work, and it helped me. But there was times when the car wouldn't be as reliable as like the Honda would be yeah so because the motor is different that motor is cast iron this is aluminium and there's there's different build qualities but the the, the Honda actually fell in my lap due to me having or being a part of that mini community because we yeah. are quite a tight-knit community we can say who to go to yeah and there's hundreds like thousands of members on there so I knew somebody on there who posted um, the car for, up for sale. This is originally a foul car, I think, but it, it came from Durban. So the guy who got it from us from Durban and I had it transported down here. So that was in 2017, I believe, towards the start of the year, I started yeah. to really drive the car. So you have it now three years, is it? I have it about three yeah. and a half years, I'd say. Okay. Yeah. And you say that you are a Toyota guy by what? <laughs> yeah, it's true. Like, yeah. I'm a full-on Toyota guy by what? I've been following, I suppose people will know, the Dio Toyota fans, or supporters rather, will know Playtoy Club Forum. Well, it was like long ago, back in the day. <laughs> yes. So, I used to, I posted, base, I like posted my progress of my Mini on that forum. Oh, then. okay. And that was I, what it was, where I was. Um, browsing my brother would be like on Honda boys and then on art stuff. Yeah um, But that's how it began the car basically fell in my lap um, And I went for it because it was a good deal um, A good platform to start from because it's initially I wanted to put this motor in the mini Yo, that's a nice thing. But eh? then look how how crazy the almighty works when yeah. it gives you the car that you, you actually got the full VTEC <laughs> full so, Yeah, in essence just a um, bit off topic, to put that motor in this Mini, you'd spend the amount to buy this car. Definitely. And the fabrication the and same, everything. Yeah. The same goes hand in hand with anything else. If you want a K in your Honda, it's going to cost you a K's money to put Definitely. you... Definitely. 
So you might, why not buy the cake? <laughs> you know? Think us through what has been done to the motor. The motor is, I would say, OEM. Yeah. Well, Cape Town stock, basically. Cape Town stock. <laughs> it's OEM. Um, I say OEM because there's no um, different pus, um, different um, pistons from other brands. Yeah. It's all Honda, Honda parts that are used. So it's stock cams, stock bottom end. The only thing with the pistons is that we had to use ITR pistons because of okay. the availability locally. BC B-Series is getting quite scarce with um, parts. Serious? Yeah, like locally. I, I think that you get more seeing that most people now opting for the K. So correct, but like that's second hand, you yeah, understand? Yeah, second hand, yeah, second hand. So I'm not putting second hand parts because I don't know the history of the part. Definitely. I'm, I'm that person, man. Yeah. So we build things differently and that's how I decide to do things my way. I put new, I don't I don't necessarily I look at things a little differently. Definitely. So basically OEM um, branch I got from Steel Solutions. It's a B series branch off the shelf off the, sorry, off the shelf. It's a speedy branch. And a 63 mil one box stainless steel. Um, also from Steel Solutions. I have a Chinatown intake arm, a GFP, um, IAT sensor, um, grommet. So those things tend to perish because they're made of cheap rubber from yeah. Chinatown. So he helped me out with that and I'm thankful for that. And just a normal C-motor filter, um, Unichip, just to manage everything else because I was concerned about the comp with the other person. Definitely, yeah. Um, so just to compensate that, um, stall pump fuel, no additives, no NF, get in, drive, check your water and your oil. Yeah, that's Service. the thing with those VTEC motors, no? You can run a rev until rev Kingdom <laughs> come. <laughs> Definitely. Maintenance is key, that's, that's modifying for me, maintenance. Yeah. If you can maintain your car, first sort out your family, maintain your car to the point where it doesn't cost you money to, to um, use it and then you can go on and modify yeah. or think about it modifying at that point but family first yeah um and like um future plans with the motor itself like like i told you the the plan if I, i'd love a, i'd love a, a stage one yeah, yeah. it sounds like stage one eh? <laughs> it sounds like stage 2.5 <laughs> yeah but i'd love a stage one vtec uh just because i'd love to see what the b series can do i don't want to just move on to a K. I don't have money for a K. I don't yeah. have money for that. I've seen a few strong B series like stage one. Stage one and yeah. it's, it's decent. It suits my budget and my, I suppose, my aspirations yeah. for the car. But if I want a K, I think I'd rather buy the car. <laughs> and what does stage one consist of? Just let the viewers know. Then. Maybe stage one cams, uh. valve terrain, um, intake, ported intake, um, bigger throttle body. No, just for that breathing. That's it, because mm. these motors tend to want to breathe. There's not much that you can really do because it's been perfected like Yamaha has been doing with Toyota motors. Yeah. So, or Toyota cylinders rather, before they, they slander me in the comments. <laughs> um, yeah, there's not really much, but I enjoy the 600 kilometers that I get on a tank driving uh, like I want to. Yeah. Who can confidently say that? Um, very few. So, I don't want to push the envelope where it's not needed to be pushed. Definitely. <laughs> Why are you the daily as well, yeah. You're getting chikara. When you get chikara, things break. <laughs> and I learned that with the Mini. You you make small changes that always impacts the next thing. So it looks for, this, for the weakest point, in essence. Yeah. So further on in that, um, the car is fully OEM, you say, eh? Besides like the, the add-ons. Fully Suspension OEM. Suspension-wise. Fully, um, the only thing with the suspension is there's a 40 mil. I don't know if it's Enforce or Kunig or whatever, yeah. it, but it's red springs. There's it sits actually low for 40 mil. It's, I yeah. think it's sagged over the years yeah. of ownership. Um, so it sits like it's comfortable, but it's a little bouncy. So I'm planning on upgrading to coilies. I've, I've got the coilies, I just need to make a plan to yeah. fit, um, it. fit it, copper, slip it up, and fit it. Yeah. 
So guys, we are, we're gonna do like a, um, a follow up on this car, like you said, the car is not fully done yet and you're not happy with the way it is at the moment, huh? Yes, so, like you, you may have seen on one of the, on a few of the pools, the car yeah. is smoking a little bit and that's due to um, plug seals. Okay. So I've got the Victor Ryan's kit and I'm going to be sorting that out. It's just, I've been gathering the parts, but lockdowns hit us so bad because Definitely. we as a clique, we all work on each other's, we help each other where we can. Yeah. Um, so it's just time has been time is very precious. against us yeah. at the moment, but there will be a time when things will get better. Definitely. So we're just patient for then. Yeah. So this is basically part one now to this <laughs> this video. <laughs> and you guys might be wondering where's the part two of um, the beams video. You see the reason there was a part one. Um, the car gave some problems on the day, so um, that's why we're doing a part two. And like the owner, the owners, was he like um fixing the car up and stuff like he also doesn't have the time like you said time is very precious your family's first yeah, your car definitely. will always come second to that yeah so stay tuned for that part too as well so you guys can look out for that but welcome is just a matter of fact when so i can't like say when it will come same with this part too um we don't know when it's gonna come like you said these like time factors and things like that but yeah it will come <laughs> yeah believe me guys we don't do these things um, we don't have big bank accounts. Um, we, I don't owe the bank money. Yeah. My car is cash. Everything I don't, I don't debt. I don't like debt. My mommy never raised me like that. So we work hard for what we have, and it's just time. Other than that, um, the car is going strong, no? Going Everything. strong. Three hundred and fourteen thousand <laughs> kilometers on the clock. Going strong. Rev still eight. I'd say about eight two. Or oh, eight and a half, I don't know, I'm not the yeah. under guy, sorry my head went away, <laughs> as you can check, where's this man? Um, but the car is healthy, I had it dyno tuned when it, I initially installed the chip at KSD, uh, Theo, lovely guy, and then uh, due to them having an issue, I think you may have um, watched in the, I think yes, I watched the previous, the previous video, video yeah, that guy said has, they had um, a, a, fire, a, a fire, yeah, fire. also your places, anyways, but um, then I went to JVS when I, Retuned it when yeah. I did the, br the branch and the exhaust. Okay, so, um, KSD was one thirty two kilowatts, one hundred and seventy four newton meters, and um, JVS was 126.6 and 164 newton meters. Apologies, yeah. That's pretty decent now for B16, yeah. Look, uh, you apps, I can't complain. I can't complain. I, I was told by someone, look, don't be disheartened by the figures. It's just a reference yeah. point. Um, I treat it like that because uh, my brother is standing over there. We've been <laughs> to dinos at 11 o'clock at night trying to squeeze out kilowatts out of um, cars. And that was years ago. Um, the old dino tech that burned down that years. So we know the, the potential, but we're not. Yeah. We, we give it this it's respect. Yeah, so we're just social distancing here. Yeah? <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> so the reason we're doing this, um, like I said, that was an unplanned shoot the last time, sure. no? Very spoiled the yeah. moment. And the thing is, I didn't know I'm gonna reach 10k by Sunday, and then I realized, yeah, I need to make a video. And I thought this is the perfect opportunity, so we're carrying on with the video today. I'm getting more pools and stuff. And yeah.
so in the engine bay, uh, not really much. It's pretty much what you'll see in most stock VTEX. Stock VTEX. Um, dev spec radiator. Uh, just to upgrade that for cooling purposes. Uh, stock one gave in on the M5 one day, so I decided to upgrade one once and for yeah, all. It looks quite good also. Man. It's beefy. Replace, worry. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry again. Uh, C motor, intake arm, Chinatown. Um, GFP, that's a propane bush and then def spec radiator hoses that's a whole kit that we got from him as well as the radiator as well as the fan and then I got just some carbon fiber um, covers for the fuse boxes I believe that's about it and than, tell them of the tempered cover yeah this you can't really see the AMG you, you can't really see but I've been hunting for a specific uh, uh, AMG badge to fit here so that it mm. can look because it looks like there was one here you can you definitely can see, see it in the shade you'll be able to see it mm. a lot better uh, yeah. but there's Further always on the branch no? the branch is a uh, stainless uh, uh, steel solution sorry mm. branch speedy off the shelf item so you can get in contact with him and he can provide it um, yeah hope you guys enjoyed that the short little feature yeah I'm always looking out for you guys. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll never like miss a feature. I don't like doing that. <laughs> so every Sunday, yeah, you guys can expect one. Eight o'clock, if not eight o'clock, good to pause it. Yeah, but um, please do remember to like, comment, and subscribe. We almost at that 10k. Um, if not, that 10k has come already. Maybe, maybe not. So if you're watching this and the 10k has come, I thank you guys all for helping me reach that 10k. So from here. On to the 20k. <laughs> Inshallah. Okay. Inshallah, yes. But yeah, like I said, even not by the 10k, it's it's very close. So, so this video will be out by that time. So yeah. Thank you guys. 